this is JWP and I will be putting more time into a mix I was started quite some time ago I had a bit of feedback there just monitoring my stream so yeah jumping into FL Studio um, sample tank has been reloaded because every time I load it all my instruments are turned down I have submitted a bug report for that and pretty much ready to go so the problem I was mainly having was that I was spreading the stereo image and this creates a bit more gain than it would be as a centered so I just have to watch that keep control of that and I did pull out my um, I did pull out my ozone because for the most part it takes up a lot of CPU and I don't think the stream can handle that just gonna move these up make room for it play some bongo additionally my frequency splitter or my frequency shifter is quite greedy with the CPU. I have since uh, revised that. All right, so before jumping in, I want to start spreading my instruments <coughs> and get that low end out of the center channel. So to do that, I'm going to have to create a bunch of sends. Starting with the snare, I suppose, and then I have to rewire all my outputs. So two. And pull that out of the main into the sense. Start some naming SD low and SD high. Bring in a frequency splitter, which is under new. Select the dual band 500, send that to 1 and to 2. Turn off mid, turn off all the other guys. And see if we can get a tighter slope here. Linear phase, I suppose. Alright, and tambourine. I don't really think it needs that, but do it anyway. Tambourine low and high. TB low and TB high. <clears throat> I'm just going to grab, actually, I'm going to make sure there's no spaces. Yeah. To grab this, open it up. And before I do that, I should take it out of the main, send it to just here. And open up the frequency splitter, jump over to tambourine, and then just drop it in. Oh, it switched over. Of course it did. And it just replaced itself. Oh well. Save preset as, bring that into the tambourine. Set the outputs. Oh, that's a limiter. <coughs> Down to the bottom. Looks like it's already set. Yep. Continuing along rhythm. Hi. Just gonna copy that. There, go that low. And rhythm high. I'll just do all the sending for now. So our pitch your low, pitch your high. Let's do the naming, not that one, this one. Pitch your low, and pitch your high. Lead. Same thing, just doing the naming. Go 
that low and speed high and finally the congress and bongos congress and bongos congress and bongos congress and bongos send to here call that low and copy this high don't really need any naming here. Congo low, Congo high. They already have splits, but not this kind of split. So Congo low and Congo high. So now moving back over to where I left off. So that's in. <coughs> Rhythm off right there and bring in splitter. I'm just gonna grab it from here. And again onto the arpeggio. Double check and make sure these are split properly. Yep. Pejo. That's going to the wrong place. So we'll take that out and send it here and there. Pejo low, Pejo high. Lead, jump, push that onto the lead. And move that from there, up to here, there. Let the bongos. Out of the master, down, and before I do this last one, I'm going to just make the sends in advance. Even though I made the sends in advance, it still didn't send them to the right places. So bongo send, double checking. Nope. Bongo low, bongo high. <coughs> and take a peek at the lead. Nope. Lead low, lead high. Peju. Low arpeggio high, yeah, it looks good. <clears throat> but just for completion, I'm going to go through them all. And bass is already done. Tambourine. Snare drum. Alright, so now I can start pushing that low end out of the center channel. Stereo separation separated, tambourine separated, rhythm separated, arpeggio separated, lead separates, bongo low, this one separates, conga low separates. Alright, so now there should just be the bass and bass drum. For the snare drum, I actually kind of want to keep it in the center channel, so... So now...
send from a stop now I forgot about that so it doesn't look like I need to actually have a output to remember that but I'm gonna wait to switch everything and I'm just going to load it actually I'm gonna save a new version before I start poking at processing 17 <coughs> Outputs. So the first two are bongos. Bongo high, conga, conga low, conga high, and this last one is a tambourine. So I'll we'll send it back to tambourine. And additionally, I believe actually the, the bass, the motor drum should be fine. as well. This is automatically updated, so try to so yeah, it doesn't look like it needs a amping every time and my buffer is dying oh I don't want to record anything going to look at the buffer it is full blast just as is oh what happened to that where it was 26 25 what's its opposite instrument Snare drum. Snare drum is at twenty. <clears throat> Jumping into tonal balance control. Tonal balance control. Start manipulating the outputs. Rhythm first. Metronome is totally throwing me off. I'm going to send that to it's the last channel. 25. And general settings. Project file. Audio. Preview mixer track. Max. So I'm just going to watch the overall level here. is hitting super hard. And everything's dying on me. Alright, just the bass drum. The bass drum doesn't kick in until way later. This 
just the loudest part. It's just what's going on here. And that buffer is dead. <coughs> we can start pulling off some of these limiters. I don't know if it'll help very much. Let's go through and pull out all the limiters. It's 19. There's nothing going there. I figure they're probably not doing anything, but they are taking up a bit of memory. Doesn't help CPU really, but either way, pulling them. So just the base drum. What exactly is going on here? doing that tape model just want to load well then honestly I'm just gonna breeze through this cuz yeah analysis I do want this rhythm a bit lower so
with you as well. This is the lead. That bridge will come down. Stay where it is. Pongos and Congos should be fine. This is probably where my heavy other harmonic is coming from. But no, it's just soloed before. So. Oh. <clears throat> from the left. Let's see if I can do a boat conserving. CPU so I can actually hear it. snares out of control. What is making it so loud? Just that loud. So what can I do to fix that? All on the high end. Yeah, it's all on the high end. Hmm. Perhaps I can cut out some of this mid, I guess. Let's go put negative six and white quite wide. A bit better. Does that look like versus the base? Peak note at zero. <laughs> I really wish I could get this band to work properly. I want bass drum, snare drum, uh, bass, and let's put it. Let's see if that'll work properly. Turn the bass. I'm doing nothing. Output routing. I got to worry about that, but still no response. 
response. CPU. <clears throat> just gonna make sure this is on fast idle. Otherwise, it'll just be super chunky. Um, fast idle. More chunkier than it is. Chunky out of there. And let's just get this done. So I want to select just my loudest part here, which would be the last couple bars, two and a half bars. I'll make it the almost last four bars. And go. Still peeking like crazy. sound driver for the headphones and let's just drop that buffer link all the way down let's see how that works out the cpu actually went into 102 for a second there and i can't use asio for all and fl studio only has that Low set. <clears throat> well, in order to get this done, I don't. There's very much mixing left to go. I'm having all sorts of problems with this mix, and I guess I'm just gonna call it there. As is, I'll throw on ozone after. I don't think it'll ever make it to any sort of publishing. So yeah. That is the end of the Piano Jam 01. Oh,